Link 2012. All right, so I think I figured out the issue. My mouse is working so smoothly now. I had my mouse plugged into a different type of USB port. So there's your usual USB port, and then there's a blue one, which I think is meant specifically for fast things. I had my mouse plugged in there, thinking it might be might be better because it would be fast a faster USB, but apparently it's only for certain devices, and that was causing issues. So, I'm glad that I have that resolved now. Okay. Our issue now is light, though. We don't have too much light on us. Need some more gapples. I know that it doesn't seem like we have a lot of gapples right now, but in reality, we can always make more. We have all this, and then we have like, all this gold right there. Um, our armor, I think I'm going to keep this armor, our sword, our bow. Our bow is dying. We're going to need to replace it halfway through this area. We're probably going to go for a set later on. So just bear that in mind. We're going to have to replace our armor soon. And our backpack. Give me a backpack. There we go. A Jeb spawner, man. A Jeb spawner. It's amazing. Alright. Archangel heads go in there. We actually have, we got a lot of Archangel heads in that area. I'm surprised. Uh, you know, at the, at the start, we were having to uh, loot them. All right, Jebs. Here. Right, and we're actually I can put, but I'm gonna put the Jeb spawner down here too. It was so cool when I figured out how to give players custom spawners. It's basically the same way as custom chests. You have to do some custom NBT shenanigans with it. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as that. Of course, you need to use MC Edit. You need to do some... There's a lot of shenanigans to go through. But it works out in the end, and that's super cool. So I have five. More efficiency five. Oops. Efficiency 5. We've got a lot of power five books now. I'm glad. That's the way it should be. We should be how we should be we should be getting all the good best books right now at this point in the map. Um, there's no reason why we shouldn't. The nice thing is we're done with the keys. We don't have to worry about these anymore. And I guess the ice buckets count as something. Corroborative selfishness. Does this actually count as an ice bucket? No. Oh, just curious. So that's just going to be a keepsake. And look at all that space that it frees up. I mean, this is crazy. Force field chest plates. I'm actually going to slap those in there because they are special items. They don't last us very long. They break and then they're done for. Oh, look at all this iron gear. We really don't need basic iron gear. Ivory will keep though. So that frees up a little bit of space. Nice. So we are more or less set. I'm not sure about getting a rune sword. Nah, we really have a we have an amazing sword right now. Have an amazing bow. And of course we have the backpack. Our blocks are good. Um, should I keep wood on me? Because currently I'm keeping three types of blocks on me. I'm keeping wood, so that's just a lot of blocks. I'm keeping stacking blocks, just in case uh, I need to have 100% knockback resistance. My sword doesn't have knockback resistance, no. Does my bow? No. Alright. Teleporters. Oh wait, no! We, we unlocked the next area in a very weird way. Remember now. Wow, we can jump across a huge gap with the amount of speed we have. This is kind of cool. Right. I want night vision on for this area. I want to see if I can take these. I can't. What's in this chest? Just night vision potions and a bunch of glowstone. I'm actually going to take some of that. Perfect. Let's 
go ahead and put you guys away. Because those will make for some good blocks in this final area. Oh boy. Recall. Interesting. So this is a really great area. I, I, I'm really proud of this in-between section. The making of this area was complicated. Um, in order to get this, the glass stained around... Oh, I forgot these guys leave... Oh yeah, they leave a, a wither effect wherever they go. So you know how we, there's lingering potions in Minecraft 1.13 or whatever? Yeah. We, I sort of created that here in Minecraft 1.8! Um, that, that was before they even added lingering potions, it's a cool thing. Now, the, the, the hard part about this area was getting all the randomized glass. Because I couldn't just use an MC edit filter. It wouldn't, it's not that simple. Actually, no, wait a second, I did. I used an MC edit filter for the stained clay. You see the stained clay under here? It's randomized. But the borders around that stained clay had to be made randomized. And the way I did that is I used bats. So I had hundreds and hundreds of bats going around. And now, unfortunately, bat AI is really, really not random. So I actually had to create my own bat AI for the bats. And I had those bats go around, and they would essentially replace all the blocks around them. It was pretty complicated. <laughs> there were a few errors with them. Uh, like, it, it, when we go into game mode 3 to check out this entire area, you're going to see that there's a few issues that, that came along with that. Alright. Now, this does. I really like this area too. It feels like your typical CTM area. It's made by a developer. Holy moly, what on earth? Uh, I was not expecting that. I didn't even notice we were getting wrecked there. I can't remember what it does if we go on blocks. Ouch. Put it. You guys are actually pretty tough. I think if you go on the blocks, you get hunger, but you also get to move the blocks. So that's one of the cool effects of these mobs. I went all out on the mobs in this area. So you see these guys? Oh, they don't take wither damage. Nuts. Or fire damage, for that matter. <laughs> Dropping. Okay, we're out. Nope, we're dead. Alright, we're good. Alright, we need... Uh, this armor is not adequate at all. Because we're dealing with mobs that deal real damage, man. We just have our wimpy resistance one and everything. Okay, I'm going to have to use my bows for all this area. Because we're not going to get through normally. Alright. Here we go. Well, I thought I saw a chest there. It was just his helmet. Combining with some other stuff. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, likes would be really good in this area, actually. A beastly potion wouldn't be a bad idea either. Although we wouldn't be able to see health so easily. Okay. Yeah, the mobs all have their own little perks and weaknesses. I am terrified of the mobs here, to be honest with you. Come on, I know something spawned around here. I'll keep forgetting they split into these little guys when they die. There. Got it. Perfect. Okay, we're good. Yeah, arrows actually, they can't hit these crystals, and you need to hit all the crystals in order to move on to the next section. So you actually have to go through this thing. Yeah, like I was saying, this area is cool because there's not a ton of spawners like the, the areas that we've been, been in. So the one issue of using the classical high pixel areas is that the spawners can be too concentrated sometimes. 
But here, here you're free to do whatever. I know, I'm just worried about the mob spawning right now. Yeah, like you. Thankfully, I slow him down when I hit him. Oh boy. Get out of here. Get out. All right, you see there's a spawner right there. Not anymore! Haha! -ha. And it looks like there's some of those creepers over there. Yeah, okay. You actually have to destroy these things with your fist or get really close and then shoot an arrow. Cortex in. Cortex encryption crystal destroyed. Eliminate all seven to unlock nostalgia. So nostalgia is the last area. It's sort of strange because at this point in time, it's over. You know, high pixels dead. Oh, there's something over there. Um. So these guys are a one-hit kill, actually, if I remember right. Ouch. But that's the issue with trying to kill them over here. Oh! I thought... Oh, there's one more spawner right here. Got it. Yeah. Yet yeah, we're going on. We're going on to this final area. Why are we going here? What's our quest? What What's going to end up happening? I was pretty proud of the, the effects around these things. I mean, you look at this. Look at how there's, there's all these... Purple particles just everywhere. All right, we got some rune boots. I'm thinking we're gonna get an entire rune set while we're in here. There's some sleeping stones used to avoid damage. Select a sleep stone in your hot bar to consume it. Grants 1.5 seconds of immunity. Pretty neat stuff. Now, and yeah, these work like very well actually too. So we're actually going to replace our backpack with these things. So if we use this, it gives us resistance 4 for 1.5 seconds before going back to resistance 1. Oh wow, they're not they're not a one-hit kill. I was wrong. But we got the chest in that air, that portion. We got the crystal down. We're good. We're good to go. Yeah, they, they're always going to spawn. It's just such a small delay. Okay. All right. Oh boy, I didn't even see what they were called. They do drop diamonds every time they, they, they die, either manually or not. All right. Come here. Yeah, give me that saturation. <laughs> I want to keep it up. The zombies aren't custom in this area. I can't remember how many custom mobs there are. I think there's those little... Those little buggers, and then there's also the skeletons of these creepers. What are they called? Overload. Yeah, creepers are called overload. And these guys are recalls. Oh, sweet. Sorted skulls. And these are actually sorted skulls. <laughs> oh, boy. Formidability factor, formidability factor 5, flawlessness 1, re rejuvenation 1. Okay. Oh, what's this? There's a redstone torch right there. That might be significant. I don't know. Oh boy, yep. Get out of here. Recall. Overload. This is tricky. But thankfully there's not a ton of spawners here. I mean, there's a decent amount around each of these, but... It's much different compared to what we're used to. Okay, there's one up here. Nothing more. Very good. It'd be interesting to see this area without night vision. It just looks so much better with night vision. Unless maybe those redstone torches are markers. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Because um, I saw another one here, too. Anyways, where's that one we saw earlier? Right here. Anything there? No. Strange. Usually there's something if there's a redstone torch. But I suppose not. Lots of coal. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, th okay. So that's for lighting. So if you come in here without night vision, it still looks pretty cool. Um. Ow. Yeah, we actually can't buy those. Oops, we just used uh, one of the sleeping stones. Let's actually put the sleeping stones away for now. We might use them later. It'd probably be good. They'd be good for a lot of things. I just want to see what this place looks like without night vision, man. So we've been lighting it up slowly but surely. Yeah, the the redstone torches are there for lighting effects. This place will look really cool. This place still looks really neat without the light, without the night vision, to be honest with you. Either way, it looks epic. It makes it easier to see everything with the night vision. Nuts, so many of them. Oh boy, they're gonna make me get a lot of hunger in here. Oh, and this, that spawner is still active, actually. I, I just don't want to have to deal with these guys. They're just too powerful. We don't have enough knockback on our sword either. We couldn't put it on, remember? Just not enough experience. Oh boy, just these little guys spawning. What do they give you? Do they give you wither? I actually don't remember. Yep. They would be a good source of experience bottles though, so we're actually gonna leave this one active. Yeah, it's funny, they uh, the it, it kills all the, the little guys in the process too. When I shoot one of these bows, thanks to the fire aspect and the potion launcher. Ouch. Get out of here. I can't remember if it's normal silverfish or something else I use. Oh, this block might be neat. Nope. Oh, it's stress. It's just a block. It's stress. Hmm. Very interesting. Alright, we get some more sleeping stones. Perfect. Some XP bottles. And an interval. Protection 4, protection 4. We should actually take some of these because. Come on. We're gonna need them eventually. Oh boy. We're gonna probably put protection on some of our armor later on. with the hunger. Yeah, go ahead and explode. I take no explosion damage. Even though you just, just destroyed half the universe. Okay. Aha! I got smart to do. Man, these guys just don't die. All right. Come here. It was hard for some of these mobs, though. Like for the creepers, you have to know if they're exploding or if they're being killed by you. So if they're killed by you, they drop a diamond and they fizzle out. But if they explode, they have to drop those those things. I believe I tested for their explosion time NBT. Because there's actually an NBT that says... No, 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 that's wrong. I can't remember what I tested for with them in order to determine if they were exploding or not. Oh, no, okay. It was complicated. So I, so I summon an armor stand in the sky, and it tests for the creeper below. If the creeper no longer exists below, it knows that it... Uh, it exploded, or it's gone. And so then it does something with that. I believe, as a result, is harpoon guns work a little bit weird with them. Because harpoon guns go really fast. 
Uh, doesn't look like we need any of this though. Cake wouldn't be bad. Oh, look at that. A sleeping stone. That I can't pick up. It's probably somewhere where it's... It's not actually... What? I can't pick any of this up. Oh, this must be a different type of sleeping stone. Yeah, this one has knockback three on it. Let's say it. Achoo! 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 Woo! Man. I apologize. Gotta sneeze every once in a while. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. How fun is this gonna be? I don't want these guys spawning one bit. So we're gonna have to use this technique. We don't have to, but it helps. There we go. Now we just shoot a few of these all over the place. Oh no! No, 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 no. This is actually a good spot because uh, I can always. Oh, it only throws one potion. I thought it threw multiple. It's not. If you have a knockback sword, you can just keep knocking them back. Oh wow, he just did something. Man, the knockback keeps making them spawn more of these little guys. I guess, this, I guess if they move too fast away from you. So that's uh, an extra little power they have. So they're strong against knockback. Or no, they have knockback resistance to counter that fact. Okay, because this... Sorry. I used the same method to test for if these guys died. Uh, which involved... Um, Armor stands above them, testing for if they didn't no longer existed. So if they, if they're knocked back fast enough, the the things spawn because it, it it thinks they're dead, even though they really aren't. Okay, good. Finally down. 